Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel and welcome back to, of course, Tis I, the only Archer with Archer Astrology. How are you? Cancer, it's time to do your beginning to the middle of March 2024-ish reading or whenever you clicked on this video and decide to come and hang out with me for a little bit because my readings are timeless and meant to find you when they find you. And I do appreciate you for being here, of course. If you could return the love for me, please love the like down here, share the channel and the video and just help the familia to grow so we can just heal everybody. It's a thing we do here and it's a genre that I love and appreciate you for being a part of. Also, subscribe, set the bell to all notifications over down here. I do go live every Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern for an all signs from Aries to Pisces, plus a card for each sign. So come and join me along with Goodman, the rest of the OG Mod Squad, your concierge for an evening of fun down in the chat, and we'll just have a good time. And if you're watching this right now, the March contest is going on. If you'd like to enter, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And then over at the most recent all signs from last week, the link's down below. All you got to do is down in the comments section over there, hashtag Archer Astrology, hashtag your sign, their sign, any of your signs or placements, anything you like. That's what we do here, okay? Make yourself happy, okay, Cancer? And then you will be entered this coming Wednesday, the 13th at 8 p.m. Eastern for the all signs. We will select three names who will win these awesome gifts over here. We've got two tarot decks and a candle from my friends at the Downtown Tarot Company in Rochester, Michigan. And so you have three chances to win. So good luck, Cancer. I hope you do. All right. Also, while you're here, Pages Swords all over my channel as much as you like. I got some awesome healing music bass covers with Bill. We do some of Caitlin Petty music and everything else. Her original songs rock. I've got some pick a card readings for my decks pick you. See how that works out. And then also all of your weeklies, monthlies, lives, and otherwise neatly prioritized and organized into playlists for your viewing enjoyment. So just hang out with me for a little bit. All right. Um, Cancer, we're going to take a look at the energies for you and the one on your mind. Um, doing a nine card spread here on the table, 10th card at the bottom for the outcome. It's Archer's version of a Celtic cross. It's my own little thing. Um, we're going to use the Millennial Tarot for your base cards, doing the heavy lifting, then throw a boatload of clarifiers at it with the Muse Tarot. And of course, all the messages are for your highest and greatest good only, of course, because when you are with me, I am your ride and die for life. I got you covered. I'm your crystals, et cetera, and so forth. You're safe. Okay. All right, let's do it to it. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram and um, all over the place. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can email me at archerastrology at gmail.com and so on. All right, let's do it, Cancer. We're ready. We're going to take a look because right now the sun's in Pisces. The new moon's coming up in Pisces. There's a lot of Pisces planets and Aquarius planets. I mean, this is a little low profile, keeping it down. Jupiter's hanging out with the moon. Mars and Mercury are over with the sun. So there's a great continental divide. As we approach the eclipse coming up and heading towards the Mercury retrogrades where everything starts taking off in the spring equinox, you know how that goes. Your dominant rocks the moon. The eclipses are when the sun and the moon kind of get up there and fight for the space in the sky and the sun's like, hey, stop blocking my light. And the moon's like, hey, stop staring at my dark side because my eyes are up here. Okay. <laughs> so let's take a look and see what's going on as we get ready for the eclipse seasons to come in Cancer because as, as the water sign whose dominant rock is the moon, you might be feeling it more so. All right. The new moon in Pisces heading towards that full moon in Libra. It's going to be a, it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. So let's do it to it, Cancer. Let's see what we've got. We're going to do nine cards to one card. Here we go. Nine and one is 10 completions. All right. Ready, Cancer? You and the one on your mind. Start thinking about them. Here we go. All right. Two shuffles. Oh, preview. I love previews. All right. The preview is the three of cups. It's like an Easter egg in the in like a DVD or a movie, even possibly the three of cups here. So there is something about a build up to a little bit of happiness, maybe something that you want to keep in control because the four of cups can represent overwhelming energies. But the three of cups shows at the moment quite happy, even though that uh, you and the one in your mind may know everything has been going on. But you do see some some kind of divine guidance for an ace of pentacles that allows you guys to start something fresh, new and clean to so the two of pentacles, which shows a work life balance coming in. And a good investment that you might have going on for you guys. Let's find out, shall we? We shall. Here we go. We got to maintain the energetical rhythm. That's how it is trained to do. Let's do it. Ready? Here we go. One. And two. Let's love this deck for the crazy, cool Cancerians. Melt the butter. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Right out of the gate. Should we stop now? Because your outcome at the bottom of the deck is the world card. That's like everything. That's like, that's every sign, you know, so you've made it to a point of completion at the end of the deck here. And that good investment's even showing up with the three of cups coming back around. So this is something that does reflect on a good investment, the wheel of fortune to the world card. These cards together here, when I see this, it actually gets me excited. 
because any sign and a good investment to go forward. The wheel of fortune turns in your favor. Sagittarius, Cancer, and everything energy. Where you're like you're like planning a good brunch and just something that's gonna make you feel cool, calm, collected in the outcome too. Let's find out where we're going with this because that is beautiful, Cancer. You're gonna get a good reading. Let's take a beginning. What's your present energy? Six of Pentacles, Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm seeing some Taurus on this where there is a coming together and meeting the minds that you desire. You've been through a lot and it's showing here maybe it's working on something to get you there. Maybe even just taking a little bit of time away or making a plan because you can see the plane and the, and the debit card, credit card on there. Maybe it's a, a small investment to let you go for it on something that you're putting into action. As a cardinal sign, what you working on? We're going to find out. That's what this deck's for, okay? But currently, your present energy is like a, a little pause to balance the, the head and the heart chakras, have a meaning of the minds, and see where you go to. It is earth energy, so, so it's cool and it's grounded, okay? Let's go forward into the immediate influence. Did you see the, tear, the chair tip? Rocking in the chair. I've been rocking the chair since I was like young, and all right? Maybe something about you wanting to keep your balance or composure in a situation. Let's see. Immediate influence is the star. Aquarius energy. You could have some strong Aquarius in your chart right there because Aquarius isn't all signs energy that they've got a lot of reception, a lot of ability to transmit and receive, and they're receiving things from everywhere. With the Pluto shifting into Aquarius as well, if, especially if you have a Pluto in Aquarius, then like you're right there where you're feeling this like first class right at the front of the line. You know, it's like it's like being direct connected to a printer instead of having to Wi-Fi the thing. All right. So you're focusing on your healing and following some guidance to keep you on your path, just like this Bicelic is doing, going towards the North Star. All right. Maybe even like something like that, like celestial guidance are getting a little bit more retro and a little more back into the days. Like like if you think of the Titanic or my Titanic Tower, they didn't have radar on that thing. They had compasses. It's really knowing and following a true, you know, true north, knowing where you're going with this one here. So even a lot of healing I'm seeing coming off of with the Aquarius energy, you know, and Cancer Aquarius, that's a powerful connection to keep things rolling. All right. Speaking of which, what's your color destiny? Where are you heading to? The two of wands. Literally, what I, I, I kid you not, this is why I love doing tarot. I just go, what's your destiny? Where are you heading to? And the two of wands comes out. Who dis? New career choice, new path. The two of wands is Aries energy. That's that's power. That's cardinal energy with Aries. Depending on where your Aries placements might be in your chart, it's making a choice. The two of wands usually depicts having one hand on one wand while the other one's waiting as you prepare to go forward. And if you look on this here, she's actually, she or she, no gender in tarot, is down here and there's artwork being made it's like it's like you get to a point let's say like if you're writing a song or something and you've done multiple retries on it or change the lyrics around and before you know it it's like okay we're at a point we can't go any further with this let's just see how it goes okay so you do see that a little reflection needed to get you into the forward you could be born on the 26 possibly also the six or the two maybe you or them are life path number six or two also, the 17th could be a date that resonates, okay? All right, so let's keep rolling with this one. Let's see where we're going. What's their present energy, the one on your mind? The death card, Scorpio energy. But I'm seeing the ability to rise out of something here. It's it's getting to a point of completion. Like, let's say they've had a lot of student loans. Maybe they had, maybe they've been in college, went back to college, or did some day night school. What something about learning that they've paid off that debt. Scorpio energy. Scorpio has the ability to rise like a phoenix out of the ashes and and give rebirth to something. It's like when the water signs picked out their tarot cards and Cancer walked up as the cardinal sign and says, "Chariot card, I'll take it." Scorpio's like, wait, I wanted that. So they grab the death card because you're like, I'll just make a better chariot. <laughs> and then Pisces grab the moon card to keep control on the situation. And with all the energies in Pisces coming up, you're probably going to feel much more dreamier or your person's actually been dreaming about you. Interesting here. But something about opening a new door and going forward into this where your word card is waiting at. Okay. All right. What is their immediate influence? <laughs> it's the Empress. Fixed energy. And they are looking pretty darn good. Um, this could be Libra energy, but I, as a reader, pull fixed energy off of it, which is Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius. So the fixed energies here shows that your person has a path that they're working on resetting the energies and, and being like an all receiving. It's, it's like that energy that they have done something completed, moved into something new, and they're getting established, getting set, and making some bank on this one, okay? So in this case here, they're like all receiving. The Empress is the feminine energy that rules the universe. And without the Emperor, you've got both sides of the coin here. So maybe at the point, they might even be doing a lot of stuff on their own. And they're looking towards you for guidance because you got that big old star card showing some healing and, and divine guidance. Or you both are into celestial navigation or you just love the stars. Okay. I do like the stars. Anyways, let's take your three cards, add their two cards to it, and find out what a potential future influence is on the connection. 
the lovers. And I don't know why I just did that. It's the lovers Gemini energy, a choice or a decision that you guys are going to make that either it is completely destiny planned. It was already written into your guys's energetical blueprint in the beginning, or it's a choice that you guys made to go forward together to clear out those paths and follow a divine path and guidance towards the glory destinies you seek. And um, they got some major arcana. You got that major, but the outcome shows more major arcana. So I see that together you guys are going through like a level up or a new way of thinking in a way that brings a lot more harmony. It's like an energetical reset that like sets and clears a, like a total line out. And as the eclipse season approaches, you guys get to go forward a new mindset here. Okay. Now it's the one on your mind. It could be a past person that returns because they did the work or you did the work and you guys are just like mm, looking good or somebody knew that you get that energy of like a past life dr michael isaac newton connection of like i swear i've known you before like you that moment when you like if you first meet somebody you open the door and as soon as you look at him you're like you just connect you just get it i think you guys both felt that way at this point wherever it was that you either have or will connect because if you haven't met somebody yet and you're sitting going archer i don't know but no you got nobody it's the one you're manifesting in. So you could be doing some powerful work or them. And together, you guys have this ability to manifest and generate. And maybe even if you haven't looked into it, doing that M B M N O P elephant Batman symbol test that's online to find out if you're a manifesting generator, projector, or what you what your strengths and your powers are. Okay? Gemini energy off of all of that. Could be dealing with a Gemini. That's classic. Or you got some strong Gemini in your chart. Anyhow, let's go forward. What's the incoming energy, Kensar? The hanged man. Pisces energy and that ability to ride that flow out together. I see as you go forward that you guys have done something that allows you to work together on this, whether it's like a remote learning or something that's more, more fun and lets you enjoy the time. You notice how in this card here, it says fun employed. It's not following a divine path, but following or not the divine planned path, but following the planned path from the divine. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. But you know what I mean? It's, it's kind of like in the outcome, you guys both kind of follow your destinies and work with the energies that are at play so that you can level up and feel a little better. All right. Pisces energy, strong Piscean on that. And we were just talking about how the cards worked out when the water signs picked out their cards back in the day, back in like the Tarot de Marcel day before Ryder Waite showed up. He was just a baby. He was little. All right. Maybe there's an age difference between the two of you guys or one of all you guys got some Pisces in your chart or just that ability to dream and connect Aquarius and Pisces energy. All right. Ooh, the cusper energy is strongest with this one. Dig it. Let's go. What's the environmental factors? Where are you going, Cancer? The Ten of Wands, Sagittarius energy. And that card of, of feeling done, feeling completed. It, it's that, that ability of overcoming the, the natures of, it's of the, like, not the insanity so much, not that of just knowing the stop point. It's Sagittarius energy, very mutable. Hi, Sag. Now, the Sagittarius energy would be like, let's say you're looking for a phone charger and you're in the drawer and you've looked there two or three times and you're like, I know it's not in that drawer. Sagittarius would be the first one to come up and like kindly push the drawer closed and go, just go grab a charger on your way to work. And then if you find the other one later, you'll have two chargers. Check under your car seat. Okay, Cancer? Anyhow. That's the burned out energy of the Ten of Wands. You've been through a lot of those passions and, and rode out energetical flows and have become more mutable. Strong Sagittarius energy. Okay. All right. What is the inner emotions? How y'all going to feel on this? The Knight of Cups, water energy. And that's you along with Scorpio. I'm also seeing a little Pisces on it, but prominently it's that ability to, to have someone you can trust, rely on. Uh, the name Allie might resonate if you don't pronounce things right, such as me. I don't word well, but I speak tarot. Um, with this here, it's actually an ally, somebody that you can trust in and stand up and, and care for each other and have a passion that no matter what you guys go through, the energies that you give off are just peace and love and the forgiveness to get you that world card because in the outcome, you guys can overcome whatever may energetically come your way and, 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 and power through it together. Okay, I've got I've got some strong Taurus energy off of that Earth card. You've got Gemini, Aquarius, fixed energy brings in the Leo. Hi, Leo. It could be a Cancer Leo Cusper. Those two are never far apart. Aquarius, big time, along with some Aries on there. So the fire is actually it's it's a little it's like a little lower and a little slow burning behind the energies, but it's there. Those passions are there, but I see a mature energy off of it. Okay. Also Scorpio and Gemini, if I didn't mention them. Anyhow, let's go. All right, give me everything you got on that Six of Pentacles to the Star card to the Two of Wands. This is on your side of the fence, all right? Here we go. Let's see what we got here. The 7th, the 13th, and the 16th might be dates that resonate to either of you guys, possibly. All right, let's roll. Here we go. Nine of Swords, Gemini Energy, 
And the hanged man shows up. Look at that. The card's cycling around. The two of swords, three of pentacles, to the king of swords. And the knight of cups is at the bottom. Oh, I love when the decks sync up like this. I just got I just got a hug from above. All right? Like a nine volt to the tongue. But safe. That nine of swords is up all night, playing Caitlin Patty, staring at the ceiling on repeat, but then starting to grow accustomed to it as you go and approach towards a ten of swords point. So you do see that through the outcome, the ability for you to, you've leveled up, Cancer, where you, instead of like, like going cardinal on everything, you more or less, you have the ability to stop and you embrace your cardinal energy masculinely. Whether you're a guy or a girl, it's that ability to stop, to deduce, to analyze. Take two and a half minutes and listen to a song where you think about something. Maybe music is speaking to you more, because right out of the gate, I started talking about speaking um, or songs and speaking writing lyrics, etc. With the hangman showing back up to the two of swords, Libra energy, you could have that ability where you want to see where things go and get more creative into it. Whatever you guys have done or worked on together that keeps them on your mind, it shows that you're trying to stay fair, trust in the process, and follow the energies where it goes between the two of you guys. So you do have some strong feelings for them. With the three of pentacles to the king of swords, um, your goal or destiny is to actually be able to communicate on a nicer level that's more balanced and, and to keep your head above water. You know, when you get to those moments where you feel like you're right at that point that you've got this ability in the King of Swords and the Three of Pentacles to kind of, you know, let go, hang on and roll with it. Uh, maybe you or even them have a necklace that you guys clutch and bring up, but it's something that allows you that moment to think Pisces energy with the hanged man and to follow flow and do what's best for everybody with the Two of Swords on that there. OK, um, 27th and the 19th could be some numbers or dates that resonate to you guys. I'm sure at the moment, but I am seeing those numbers kind of right there in my face. All right. The Three of Pentacles on the Knight of Swords, King of Swords, shows a level up on your side. Very nice. So maybe in the past energies, you've even had the had those moments where, where things get quite overwhelming. And then you've had to take some time to, to cancer time. You know, and everybody can use that. Maybe it's like you just needed a weekend off or a day or two away because you get really into the energies and rolling with it and receiving and feeling things. And then it's like, wow, hit the brakes. I just need a minute here, you know? But you've actually learned to embrace the energies, which I like that. That's that's nice. The high priestess to the emperor. Oh, my goodness. I kid you not. Your minor arcana is matching their major arcana. Cancer, they're, 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 they're a slight step. They're future influence. They're a slight step ahead of you. But this shows your goal or destiny has you rising into the emperor status where you guys are coming together. You are doing some strong healing. All right. Look at that empress. Emperor, see, em that's embracing the masculine and the feminine energies. The emperor and the empress together rule a whole universe. And with the high priestess coming in there, this is showing the context of, could be any sign, you're not sure. Like the high priestess candle, can't tell you what's in it. But it's showing some deeper knowledge that you learn and gain that allows you to rise into a powerful energy. To overcome those emotions when you feel like you're right here and, and not sure how to go forward into it. They help you or you help them out. You guys have a very unique way of communicating. So I'm seeing it's somebody that is on your mind or you've been in recent contact with. Maybe like a message or something came through and at first you're like, oh, oh my God, that's my person. And then at the end it's like, wait, hold on a second. That was who? What? You know? But then deep down you've got that intuition that you just know that they're the one. Nice. Um, I'm seeing Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer energy on this one here. Also some Scorpio along with some Taurus on that one too. Honorable mentions to Sagittarius and Taurus on that one. Beautiful. Um, maybe even you're more as being a water sign. Maybe you're starting to notice like you like, like you sleep with the, the sounds of the ocean in your sound machines, your sound wave bowls, something like that. Or if you're into the binaural beats and the frequencies, you're going deep. You're all about the bass, no treble, where you tap into like, like, like 1174 hertz and and the deeper ones that get to the the more of the roots and the core chakras that go right down through the feet and balance you out it's like being able to stand in five inch boots and see so keep balance you know what i mean it's good energy how powerful are you all right let's see what we got on their side here because we are we're just cruising right along all right thank you spirit um give me everything you got death card empress and the lovers there dude there's some major arcana on their side that i see you guys come together on that one with too the tower Ooh, Scorpio, double Scorpio on the death card. Four of wands to the judgment card to the wheel of fortune on the three of wands. Oh my goodness, strong fire energy. Five of voices, five of swords comes out in the outcome on this one too. Look at this. Look at how the decks are syncing up. That is seriously amazing. As you always do this to me too, Cancer. Your person sees more in you than you even realize or know. Maybe they're a little more quietish because they might even, maybe they look at you as a cardinal sign. It's like, whoa, cancer's got it going on. And it keeps you above water. Death card 
to the tower card, they see a beginning with you that can start completely fresh. This is a complete energetical reboot. It's not just like putting your computer to sleep at night, but a full power shutdown on this one. So it's that ability to clear the cache, reset the memory. Um, your person here sees a lot with you, though, as well, with that four of wands on the judgment card to the empress. Cancer, whatever it is, they like you. This is going straight into love energy on this too. It's it's the four of wands, the twin flame, the soulmate card. It You check the boxes for them with the four of wands. You make them feel safe and comfortable. It's like those great big spinny hugs that I give out. Oh, Cancer, maybe, maybe there's something about the way you hugged them or they hugged you that just kind of made you feel kind of spaghetti legs and got those tingles inside, but it's on their side of the fence. So I'm seeing that it's something about your hugs that they like Cancer. And it kind of sometimes... It might even get them feel a little overwhelming where they're like, wow, cancer might be the answer, you know, and, and it rhymes and you can roll with it. So there's maybe maybe poetry or something or words that they can reflect back on. Like there's a text message they keep in their phone and they reminds reminds them of you. Right. And it's that one thing that when they get really nervous, really overwhelmed, they can look at that and go, oh, that's my crab. That's my cancer. <laughs> this is the only time you'll ever hear that some people are happy about Kevin cancer. That was all oh, cancer. Okay, well, your person said it, so they must find it kind of cute. It is an adorable joke, but we're going to be respectful. All right, because in the outcome, you guys choose to work on this together and, and work on those things with the Wheel of Fortune to the Three of Wands. It's following the path, the energetic flow, while it's doing what's right for everybody involved. It's the ability to reflect back together and to not want to hurt people, to not want to say those, those things that might just leave things unsaid. And because I'm seeing that both of you guys have had a very similar journey. And, and you, you both have been hurt a lot and done a fair amount of hurting. You know, we all can own up to that one. But the ones that can own up to it and respect it and be like, yeah, this was my 50% of the, of the thing, that allows you guys to come together in a whole new energy. And if it is new, then it, it could be like that Dr. Michael Isaac Newt where we're back before you guys showed up in this lifetime. You went in front of your lifetime review and they're like, are you sure you want to be a cancer or your person? You sure you're that? And yeah, I want to do it. I want to do it. Then you get into this lifetime, somebody opens the door and they, they smack your face a little bit. It's just a love tap. And you're like, what was that? And they're like, you pick cancer. <laughs> but oh my good cancer, they pick you. That's the lover's card. You guys pick each other. In the Titanic deck, the lover's card is Ida and Isidore Strauss. And, and that was the couple that regardless of the situation that was happening on board the Titanic, they chose to stay together. What you see in the movie, accurate history completely. All right. So you guys are, it's, it's, an, it's an accurate account of your life story. You guys have a new chapter of your life story that you're going to be writing together in harmony. It's beautiful energy. Four of Wands, it's some Aries. There's also the, the Judgment card, Strong Scorpio energy, the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune squared, literally, could be any sign, all right? As the Wheel of Fortune turns towards the World card, that shows that it's divine guidance and path that allows you to trust your instincts and the deeper knowledge. Strong Sagittarius, Cancer energy. There's also some powerful Leo in here along with Scorpio, okay? Let's see. All right, give me everything you got in the outcome. Hangman to the Ten of Wands to the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Pisces. Strong cusper energy too, all right? Here we go. The world card. I cannot with you, Cancer. This has been the most awesome readings today. Oh my goodness. Ace of Cups, Five of Wands. The Lovers is back with the Four of Pentacles to the Nine of Wands. And I just keep pulling cards. I kid you not. <laughs> just like what we're dealing with. The Two of Wands. Look at the outcome. Two of Wands. There's the Strength card. Well, hello, Leo. Look at that. It's right there in the outcome between the Two of Wands to the, who's this? The Queen of Cups. Strong Cancer Leo energy. You or them could definitely be a Cancer Leo Cusper because it's that ability to stay cardinal with the Cancerian energy while have the fixed mutable energy of Leo to tame the lion, to follow your son, to follow your divine guidance. And regardless, the world card comes out twice. And I was actually calling the wheel the world card and their energies. You're helping them together to level up. They're receiving everything you transmit out to help them make the choice because you keep them feeling safe and comfortable. The Ace of Cups to the Five of Wands shows that ability to find a new way to love that overcomes those struggles, those strifes, and the things that, that we might go through to make the choice from a totally different, like an opposing direction, something that you might not have tried before. Sagittarius Gemini energy. Those are the opposing sister signs of the tarot, much like your opposing signs Capricorn. But in the outcome onto it, but that Knight of Cups, you guys have the ability to, if you, even if it is just taking a road trip or an evening cruise and like, hey, we've had a long day. Let's just get in the car, turn the radio on and just see where we go and follow our guidance with this for the Knight of Wands. Ooh, throat chakra. Maybe the color blue resonates to you lately or the, the ability to open the throat chakra, communicate more. 
as you guys work together with the chariot. Foot on the gas, no, I'm going to crash. It's following guidance, but with that knight of wands, it's almost like an auto guidance GPS system that keeps the chariot moving. That's your energy, your cards, the chariot. It shows that you are in a more powerful place than you know, and they like you. They like you a lot, and they choose to be with you in that one. And you choose them too. It's getting to that point of uh, not, not the wishy-washy waffling energy that comes out, but more of like, yeah, that's my person. That's my cancer. And you know what? We're going to keep working on it and we're going to go through it together. Four of Pentacles to the Nine of Wands. Staying guarded, staying protected, but Jack and Rose never letting go. Okay? Because deep down in the end of it, you guys kind of know it and you get it. Amazing. Beautiful energy. Strong Gemini. Leo's here. Sagittarius big time. Uh, high Priestess to the World card. It's all in the context because the High Priestess is, could be any sign, but the World card is totally could be any sign. But either way, it's a good investment. Your Bitcoin might be going up or just something where you guys like this power couple energy that you adjust and adapt to the times of the world that's changing and rise above it, adapt with it and flow together. Wow. Cancer, claim this down in the comments because this is like the spinny hug of a tarot reading here. And that's a lot of love. All right. And, and forgiveness and healing and harmony. You guys just get each other from everything that you've been through. Amazing. Leave a comment down below, please. And thank you. Let me know how it resonates, who and what you are dealing with, how it goes, because I do adore and appreciate you for being here and being a part of this cancer. And remember, this could resonate to any and all placements of cancer within your chart, because we're not just our sun, moon, rising and Venus signs, but all the parts of all our charts, even the junk in the trunk. <laughs> and I am FHA Ironclad Compliant, and I will read for any sign or placement that desires and inquires. All you got to do is ask. And if you'd like to ask, email me at archerastrology at gmail.com, where we'll hook up and connect and take it from there. I am booked a little bit out in advance, but I have a great scheduler. All right, so we'll uh, we'll keep you posted on everything. And please like, share, comment, subscribe, of course. Um, make sure to go over to the All Signs, the most recent one, so that you're entered in the contest. And I'll see you this coming Wednesday night for the March giveaway. All right. Good luck to you. And um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so until next time, Cancer, thank you very much for taking the time out of your day, your love, your life, your energy to be here for me to read for you. I truly do adore and appreciate you. In the spirit, God, I appreciate you for the messages. We do very much. We are truly grateful and thank you ultimately, unconditionally. Um, very grateful for the time. Thank you. Until next time, Cancer, you take care of yourself and I will see you then. All right. Namaste. Peace and love. Archer out. Yeah, chariot. Love you. <laughs>